Welcome back, it's Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm here to save you some money. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I'm actually kind of low-key excited about this Ulta event. And normally, I would be like, <laughs> Let's read it to filth. And while I am gonna do that, there are some things that I do wanna highlight because they're actually really good products. And if you can get them for 50% off, that's amazing. So if you are so lucky enough to have an Ulta in your life, Ulta is doing their 21 days of beauty, which is something that they do at least, I believe, twice a year. The sale is gonna be happening in store and online from March 12th to April 1st. And I believe if you are a diamond or platinum member, there might be like additional savings or maybe like a surprise product here or there. But uh, for the most part, I'm just going to go through the website. I have my trusty iPad down here. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about the stuff they keep putting out on the sale rack. <laughs> but in all seriousness though, some of this is actually like, okay, all right, Ulta, I think you finally listen to people shitting all over you to finally release some good products. So uh, without further ado, let's start with March 12th. All right, what do we have for March 12th? We have a lot of stuff, okay. So we have a couple things from Peach Lily, which I have tried Peach Lily's, what was it, glass skin? or I don't know, it was some sort of serum or whatever. And I liked it, it was pretty good. The two products that will be on sale are the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream, and then the Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. The Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum sounds pretty good. It has like 10% lactic acid with 12 natural extracts to resurface and reveal a youthful glowing skin. That sounds all well and good. I will definitely pick up that. I've been running low on some serums, so I kind of want to start introducing something new to the system. To the system. That is my fucking skin. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> That one is of interest to me. And then the other one there is a matcha pudding antioxidant cream. That one sounds okay. It drenches the skin with antioxidants for intense moisture weightless formula. Leave skin feeling calm and supple. That sounds good too, you know. Um, I will say that I'm pretty good on moisturizer, so like, eh. It's not something that's really jumping out at me that I'm like, ooh, I need to try it. I think the serum sounds a lot better. So that's something that I'm like, ooh, yes, I wanna pick up. Then beyond that, there are a couple of things from Tarte. You have the Tarte Maneater Mascara. It's okay. Is it like the best fucking thing? No, but for $12.50, Actually, no, what are you doing? Don't do that. Go buy a drugstore mascara. <laughs> Go buy a drugstore mascara. Honestly, between the two new ones, fucking Lashgate number one and fucking Lashgate number two. Actually, there's no Lashgate number two for the Maybelline one, but they both work fine. I think I like the telescopic one more. That provides a lot of length. Didn't need some bullshit lie about it, but it actually does work. I would recommend just getting that. You don't need a Tarte Maneater mascara. The next thing is the face tape, full coverage vegan foundation. I feel like I've tried, did I try face tape? Maybe I tried face tape many, many moons ago. It's not leaving a lasting impression on me. <laughs> so if this is your foundation of choice, bitch, get it for $20 off. The next we have is from It Cosmetics. I've never tried this thing before. It's a brush bath purifying salad brush cleanser. I have tried the spray. Love the spray. Like I have like 55 fucking bottles of this. Now I only use this on my synthetic brushes. I don't use it on my natural hair. My natural hair, I actually just wipe them down with a towel and then once a week I wash them and um, it's a lot, it's it's a lot. But I wanna have clean brushes because I have sensitive eyes and I ain't trying to fuck my shit up. So uh, anyway, never tried the actual solid cleanser but the spray I can say is pretty good. Then there's some tweezers. I don't give a shit about that. There's an eyebrow set thing. I don't care. Ooh, for my bitches that, <laughs> for my bitches, for my bitches that do the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot Eyeshadow, that would be $12.50. I remember a period of time, I think when I was started to get into makeup, I had the, um, you know, the, the quintessential, which one is that one called? It's Soft Ochres, Soft Ochre and Painterly. Those are the two that I have tried. And you know what? Meh, I, I just thought they were okay. I felt it a little bit too drying on my eyelid. But I know there's a lot of people that is like, that is my primary of choice. And hey, good for you, bitch. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, it's 1250, it's there for you. <laughs> but um, that's pretty good. And then of course we have a couple things from Zit Sticka, which I've never tried, but I've heard good things. So proceed with caution. Then they have this breakout proof serum. It's actually a sunscreen serum. So that's kind of interesting. And it's more for acne prone skin. I don't have acne prone skin, so I'm not gonna be reaching for this, but if you do, Check it out, looks like the ratings are pretty good on it. And uh, yeah, proceed with caution, but that's pretty good though. If you can get it for 20 bucks, not bad. So I have to say for March 12th, there is some good shit there. So if you are interested, go forth my child. Now for March 13th, we have 
Oh my, I feel like I, every time I see an Ulta sale, Elemis is just front and center. It's between Elemis and, oh God, was it Juice Generation? No, that's an actual fucking juice place, which is delicious and I wish that it was in Orlando, but it's not. Or maybe I just haven't found it yet. Oh God, Juice Beauty, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> and I believe it's on the sale this year because it's always on the fucking sale. But anyway, so Elemis, again, kind of has their pro collagen marine cream. You know, I feel like a lot of people really like Elemis. I just think they're okay. And maybe it's because I got um, swindled into paying over the fucking actual full price probably on a Disney cruise one year when I decided to treat myself and go get a fucking massage to only walk out, I believe, with this marine cream or something of a similar nature and a toner, I think that was like $100. It was something ridiculous. A fucking toner. A toner, people, okay? So uh, yeah, what can I say? I can't say no. <laughs> And I think ever since then, I'm like, fuck you, Elemis. I don't really, which I should be saying fuck you, Disney, but I can't, you know, it's Disney. <laughs> anyway, so if you're into the pro collagen, it's there for you, which I mean, it's pretty expensive, but I just don't, I don't see the hype in it. Like when I think of like expensive skincare, Chantecai, right? That is something that I think about constantly because I really love the results of it. And I really think it works. Elemis, it's like just a lot of fancy cream for nothing. But that's my two cents. If you love it, that's great. It's obviously personal opinion, but I just think it sucks. Uh <laughs> Then you have something from Rem Beauty, which are they under? Are they? I don't know. I think I kind of stepped out of this whole Morphe lawsuit thing. So like I was like invested and then I kind of was like, I don't give a shit about it anymore. My attention span wore off and I started chasing a different rabbit. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Are they in trouble? Are they going to live on Rem Beauty? Because I know that's under that parent company, right? Anyway, so their eyeshadow palettes are on sale. There are six different eyeshadow palettes and I gotta say, I have seen this in person in Ulta and they just look okay. If anything, it just looks like an upscale Almay palette. Do you really need that? I guess for $12, not so bad, right? Because like, if you want to try it, that's actually probably the most beautiful price point to ever try something. It didn't seem or look or feel amazing. So kind of keep that in mind, but for $12, you can't fucking beat it. Uh, next thing is the Urban Decay Vice Hydrating Lipstick. Kind of sad that it's not the new Vice product, that liquid lipstick, which I know like, ooh, liquid lipstick, who gives a shit? It's actually a fucking great product and was something that I really loved and talked about during my like best of 2022. Kind of sad that it's not that. I was hoping that it was because I was like, ooh, and then I was like, oh, it's just a lipstick. Which I mean, I'm sure the lipstick is fine, but like I wanted the liquid lip because that is just special. Something that's hydrating and comfortable and doesn't really break down into a horrible mess, sign me the fuck up. This, I'm sure it's good, but like who cares? <laughs> The next thing we have is from Kinship, which Kinship I have been trying lately and they're not bad. So I have not tried, have I tried this one? No, 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 no. I have not tried this one, but I do want to pick this up because there's one product that I'm using right now is from Ola Hendrickson and it's like they're bright. It's kind of actually a similar product. I think it's like a vitamin C eye cream and I've been really enjoying that lately, but I really wanted to try the Kinship one because the stuff that I have tried from Kinship, I've been really liking lately. So I kind of want to try a couple more things from them. And then the last thing we have is from Lancome. It's the Love Pro Oil Free Long Wear Makeup Primer. It has really good reviews on this one. It's forty-two dollars. So you get that half off. You know me. Listen, all right. My makeup primer of choice, Ritual Defee Thorn Oil, which is so sad that it's not on the sale um, because I would be like, bitch, go buy some. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Not for me, but not to say that it's not for someone else. So if you like this, baby, it's on sale for you. Go ham. Moving on to March 14th, we have the Loose Setting Powder from Dermablend. Fantastic product, but something that's always on sale. So I just don't think anyone's really uh, kind of buying it, hence why it's always always on sale at least twice a year for 50% off. So something to think about, but ironically enough, it is a good product. <laughs> so, <laughs> Do I need it? No, because I, I have I have too many fucking powders. I don't need another one, but it's there for you to use. Then we have a couple of things from Nude Sticks, which y'all, I wanna like Nude Sticks more. I have tried Nude Sticks. It's just, it's not for me. Like I didn't find anything special about them and that's fine. I think the coolest thing is that they come in a fucking tin. That's it. Everything beyond that has never really worked out for me, but they do have a couple of different products. So you do have a bronzer stick, you have a blush stick that is a matte one, as well as a dew 
dewy one and then you just have like an all over face color glow so I'm guess assuming that's a highlighter. The next product is from Youthphoria and this is the pre-game daily protective primer. What the fuck is this? Other than having really cool 90s style packaging which caught my eye. Uh what are you? You are uh, okay. Protective primer with emollient formula holds your makeup in place and stops moisture from escaping providing insurance for your lavish skincare. How fucking dramatic. Okay so I feel like I've heard of this brand, but only in the context of Ulta. So I don't think I have heard anyone really review this brand, so I can't really speak to it. Um, and it looks like some of the reviews are like, game changing primer too. So, so. <laughs> I'll purchase it again. I love it. My new favorite primer. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it just sounds like a run of the mill primer. Other than it's really cool 80s style arcade floor packaging, nothing about it really kind of is, is making me want to try it. So I'll pass on that one. Then we have something from Coors, which is a Wild Rose Night Brightening Sleeping Facial. Surprise, it's not that weird Greek yogurt cleanser that they keep fucking pawning off. Then we have Beekman's World uh, or Beekman 802, 1802, which I just want to call it Beekman's World. A milky primer. Ooh, it looks like semen. Love that. SPF 35 3 in 1 Daily Defense Sunscreen and Makeup Perfector. Okay. I love salmon. Lash food. We have a lash enhancing duo. And then we have teamy blends, which I'm pretty sure that's the shit tea, right? Anyway, that's an online only product. <laughs> You have the green tea blend detox mask also will make you shit your pants. Then you have the belief aqua bomb sleeping mask, which I have tried belief products in the past. And I think I want to like them more than what they are. I think packaging wise, I'm like, Ooh, they're so cute. They're so adorable. And I just love them based on how cute the packaging looks. <laughs> Long story short, like I just think it's adorable and I love their little sets that they come out with around the holidays. But in terms of product, it wasn't anything remarkable. It wasn't anything like fucking shit your pants amazing. It was just okay. And I mean, for $38 divided by two, yeah, it's fine. But I don't think it's anything that you're really gonna fucking lose your mind over. Then we have the Elizabeth Arden, which always looks good as a snack. <laughs> Advanced Ceramide Capsules, Daily Youth Restoring Serum. A lot of people, I have joked about this, like they just look delicious and I want to eat them. A lot of people are like, bitch, they work. Kind of want to try it because what interests me is the word ceramide. Anytime something has ceramides in it, I'm like, like a dog, like my fucking ears go up or my, ma where's my makeup dick? Oh, it's over there. My makeup dick goes up <laughs> and I'm like, hello, what, huh? So I think I kind of want to pick these up because I want to see what the hype is. Because a lot of people like this and really were like coming at me in the comments being like, you don't know what you're talking about. These fucking don't eat them. They're good. <laughs> So I kind of want to try them uh, based off that. And for, and if I can get them 50% off $114, sign me the fuck up, bitch. I'm going to do that. So this looks pretty good. And essentially it's the ceramide capsules and an anti-aging facial serum that helps strengthen skin's moisture barrier, minimizing the signs of aging. I love all of that. That sounds wonderful. Single dose capsules using 100%, I thought it said 100% vegetable oil. And I was like, well, I could just fucking go downstairs, couldn't I? <laughs> just open up my pantry and just grab that. But no, 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 I'm sorry. It's vegetable and mineral mineral based oil. Just kidding now. It's vegetable <laughs> mineral based materials. Capsule advantage protected from light and air to keep serum powerful and fresh. This, I mean, now I'm side eyeing it a little bit. Like, you know, maybe for something of this technology, shouldn't it be like thousands of dollars? You're like putting it in a protective case. Something doesn't feel right. The call is coming from inside the house. I don't know. Something's wrong. I feel like I'm getting too good of a deal for something that is just apparently so protective and secretive. Anyway, I'm kind of into it. So apparently 100% of women showed an improvement in their overall appearance of their skin. 97% showed a significant improvement in the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Bitch, I got some pseudolins trust lines that we need to work out here. 95% saw firmer skin in two weeks. Okay, based on a clinical study of 43 women aged from 36 to 64. <gasps> I'm a woman aged between 36 and 64. Okay, this was fucking meant for me. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know how this works out. Uh, and all else fails, I'll boil it in some water and I'll put some sauce on it because they look like tiny raviolis. Anyway, can't wait to eat those. Uh <laughs> Next one we have is from Patchology. We have a flash patch restoring night eye gels. That sounds pretty good. I love any sort of eye patch because this area is just, I don't know, dehydrated as fuck and often looks like I'm about to die when I don't have any moisture. So, hey, that sounds like a good idea, putting some eye gels there. I'm usually very particular with my eye gels and I usually get the ones from, Ski uh, what the hell is it, Skin? I think it's Skin Iceland or something like that. I've never tried the Patchology ones, but hey, 
let's try those. And then last but not least, we also have a Serve Chilled Rosé Hydrating Eye Gels. I think that's the one that I want. So then I could drink my rosé with it and I could watch my Bravo show. And that is online only. So heads up there. Um, Look, see, not bad. Some of these days they have some really cool shit in there. So moving on to March 15th. March 15th is a little bit slower, a little bit smaller. We don't have that many things. So the first one is from Murad and this is the Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. Um, I have tried a couple things from Murad and they were fine. Um, is it my favorite skincare brand of choice? No, but I know plenty of people that have enjoyed it. Speaking of my best friend, he has loved anything that I've given him with Murad and his skin looks great. So I say go forth. <laughs> anyway, it's a Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. Okay. Then you have the Seal Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So if you're not getting this, already in your subscription box because I feel like between this and the Smashbox primer just it's gonna keep on keeping on and outliving us all you can get it for $12 um yeah I mean Stila is Stila <laughs> there is though one Stila product that is on this list that I was like Okay, but uh, this is this this one isn't for me. I feel like this is uh, kind of like an OG, but I feel like there have been so many newer products that are just like, you know, just better waterproof liquid liners in my opinion, but whatever, who am I? But if you do like it, it's there for you for $12. Then we have, ah, uh, my favorite, Aborian. So this is the Aborian BB Cream. While it's not my favorite one, I prefer their CC cream more than anything. The BB cream is pretty good. So I plan on picking up one of those because I haven't had it in a while and I wanna see if I still kind of feel the same way, but I plan on picking it up. Why? Because it will be half off $45 and that sounds like a good fucking deal to me. But the reason why I don't like the BB cream to the CC cream is that I think with the BB cream, it was a little bit dark on my skin. Not like uh, Gucci, like that one time where I was like, uh, literally I turned myself into like a puff snack. No, no, no. <laughs> It's just, you could tell it's like a little bit darker. So I found like I had to use like a really light concealer to kind of like make it mesh well to my dough-like body. And that's pretty much primarily the reason why I kind of don't really gravitate towards it too much. But I feel like now that I'm venturing out into the world and forcing to step out into the sun, which I know I'm showing you my arm, bitch, I got a farmer's tan. Yes, I got a farmer's tan, but you can't see it because my lights are so powerful. It actually just shows my skeleton. <laughs> But I am lightly toasted. I swear to God, I'm lightly toasted. Anyway, um, so I kind of want to see if, if maybe the BB cream actually might be a little bit better now, being that I'm one with the sun. Anyway, so the next thing we have is a little fridge, which listen, if you can get it for $30, that's awesome. But kind of also remember too, around the holidays, they usually have these fridges also on sale. And I think this one's a little bit, like one of the smaller makeup fridges I have seen or skincare fridges, whatever fucking thing you want to do with this fridge. So um, it's good for $30 but check around the holidays. You could probably get like a little bit bigger one for kind of the same price. And then we have Lorac. We have good old Carol. Carol has some solid shit. Love Carol's palettes. Will I pick one up? No, but I like that it's there because Carol has solid quality. Carol's good. So, so go forth my little ones. If you want Carol, she's there for you. Ooh, March 16th. That's the day my mom is coming to visit me. So are we going to be going to Ulta? No. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I would say, yeah, ugh, no. Okay. So the first thing you have is Cerevital, which is the dietary supplement pills. It's the same shit they keep hawking at least twice a year. Do they even work? I don't fucking know, but it, whatever, it's there. Then you have Stravictin, a Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. <sighs> Retinol I'm weird with. Retinol I feel like it, it just always fucks my skin up. So I never really found a retinol product that has worked for me um, because it usually just turns my skin into sandpaper and then it's bumpy and then I break out and it's a whole fuck, it, it scares me every time and I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna use it. <laughs> This isn't for me, but if you are someone that fucks with retinol, maybe you might find this of interest. Then we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Limp Plumper, basically to give you those beautiful dick sucking lips. Um, I hate this Too Faced product. Um, oh, there's actually two of them. There's also a Maximum Plump Extra Strength Lip Serum, which sounds like it's even more painful than the Extreme. Uh, oh God. I don't like them because I don't like that uh, burning sensation on my lips. It feels like it does not feel good it's uncomfortable and yeah okay my lips do swell up because I'm pretty sure whatever's in it is making my lips allergic <laughs> to whatever product it is and it's terrifying it's a big old no for me it's so gross I fucking hate them I don't think they look cute they look they look stupid I honestly I'd rather just go get the fucking filler at that point I'd rather get the filler <laughs> 
than have to deal with something that's just uncomfortable and weird and sticky. No thank you, okay, no. Um, then we have the Iconic London Multi-Use Sculpting Palette. Okay, I feel like I, I feel like I have gotten this at one point, maybe in a, in a subscription box, maybe not. I don't know, it looks familiar. There's something about it that looks familiar, but I just, I don't know I don't know why. But anyway, eh. And then we have two products from About Face. And I like About Face. I really do like About Face. I have not tried these two products though. So you have a matte fix lip pencil and then you have a painted matte lip color. I am disappointed that if these are the only, I think these are the only About Face products that are on this list. I kind of wish that it was the eye fractal paints or the fucking eyeliners. Like those are fantastic. And there's another lip product that I've actually tried. It was like a hydrating, like clicky pen thingy. That was great. Again, I never tried this one, but you know me, I'm not a matte bitch. Like I like hydration through and through. So seeing this, I'm like, eh, it's not really doing anything for me. But anyway, so uh, March 16th looks pretty sad. So we're gonna skip that one. And then moving on to good old St. Patrick's Day. By the way, we're gonna be doing makeup bingo blackout edition for <laughs> <laughs> for good old St. Patrick's Day. And that's why there's no makeup hangover this week. Uh, and that's why you're getting this video instead because we're kind of banking on images and stuff to try to put a lot of products so we can kind of just go through them and then, you know, eventually pass out while filming. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Okay, so <laughs> that's next week. So what do we have today? So for the 17th, we have the most un-Irish looking things. Actually, nope, the most un-Irish looking things. So you have two things from <laughs> Lancome. You have two parfums. One is a purse spray. A purse spray? What the fuck is a purse spray? Oh, is it just to put in your purse? I imagine it's probably something you just put in your purse. I don't think you would spray your purse with it. My stupid ass, that's what I'm thinking it does. <laughs> But it's probably not that. It's probably just like a little vial you shove in your bag and then you can just take it out instead of having this honking big bitch bottle. But uh, I was just about to say like, what kind of red shit is this where your bag gets a fucking perfume spray? What society am I living in? No, I'm just a moron. Moving on. <laughs> We have something from Clarins. We have the Double Serum Firming and Smoothing Concentrate. Ooh, I love smoothing, I love firming. Tell me more about it. So Clarins number one best-selling anti-aging serum, I'm sorry, anti-aging serum, double serum firming and smoothing concentrate is a two-in-one. <sighs> Formula packed to 21 plant extracts to effectively target wrinkles and boost radiance. Sign me up, please. Yes, daddy. What else do we know about it? Hydrate smooth, visibly tightens pores, non-comodogenic, even the most sensitive, of skins can try this out. Has uh, ooh turmeric. I love that goji berry red janya. I don't know what that is. Hope I'm saying it correctly. I thought it said exotic green banana and I was like, what? Isn't that a plantain? Organic green banana plays a key role in promoting firm looking skin. 88% visibly smoother skin, 83% more radiant, 74% visibly firmer skin based on a seven day satisfaction test of 362 women. I don't know if I like those results. I don't know. I felt like the uh, ravioli serum sounded better, right? <laughs> Plus, I'm a woman that was from 36 to 64. This one's not even targeting me. Fuck off, Clarence. So no, we're not gonna go with Clarence. <laughs> then we have some stuff from ABH. We have the clear brow gel. Okay, fine. And then we have the tinted brow gel. No, no, no. I have tried the tinted brow gel in the past and that shit was like concrete on my little eyebrows, okay? Granted, I have to color the shit out of my eyebrows because uh, traditionally I, I literally look like a potato. Uh, my hair is so blonde you can't see it. So when using that tinted brow gel, it really just solidified into my brow, almost making like a concrete block brow. <laughs> it was just, it wasn't for me. I hated it. But I know there's plenty of people that love it and just like really just need like a strong brow gel. And if you need a strong brow gel, that's great. I'm a little bitch that cannot take it. So I look stupid with it. But hey, if you like it, it's there for you for 50% off. And then we have a couple of things from Ofra. So we have the Ofra highlighter and we actually have three Ofra highlighters. Two of them I would love to highlight. The first one is the Nikki Tutorials highlighter. I think this is the glazed donut one, right? So there's a glazed donut and a glow goals. I could definitely speak to the glazed donut. I fucking love that highlighter. That is a great highlighter. Like I remember when it first came out so many moons ago, I don't regret picking that up. Like that is a fantastic white icy metallic highlighter. The next one we have from Samantha March and this is the Start Inspired Highlighter. That one is fucking great too. The Samantha March collection that came out with, what was it? I think it was a highlighter and a blush. They are so pretty. They are so pretty. And what I like about Samantha March's one is that it was like, it was a split pan highlighter. Not really a split pan. I guess it was like more of a swirl, right? Pillow Talk and Star Island. It's so beautiful. 
cool. So that one is fantastic as well. And plus you can get it for 50% off. That's fucking great. Then there is the Starlit Liquid Highlighter. I've never tried their liquid highlighter before, so I don't know how that works. <laughs> I imagine you just pump it on. <laughs> I know the mechanics of it, but I just don't know how good it is. Like I know their powder highlights are legit. Their liquid, I side eye because I'm like, why? You don't need to, like your powder highlighters speak for themselves. And then uh, last but not least, we do have another thing from Lancome, which we have the La Vieste Belle Happiness shot, which looks like a perfume bottle that's wearing a little necktie. I'm not into it. Okay, so kind of a lackluster-ish, sort of not really kind of a day. It's a weird day. I think the, the highlight for that one is pretty much those fucking highlighters. Those are fantastic. Now moving on to March 18th. Bitch, pay attention. Also, sorry for calling you bitch. <laughs> First thing we have is from Fenty Beauty. We have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I didn't like it. Well, I wasn't a fan of it. A lot of Fenty products, um, complexion wise, it didn't really do anything for me. So I say, eh, you could kind of skip out on that. Unless this is your favorite concealer, then fucking get it because it'll be literally $15. But it wasn't anything that was like super fun. Then we have the It Cosmetics Competence in a Cream. The label looks a little bit different. I have tried Confidence in a Cream before and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I've, I've gone through like maybe three bottles of it. It's a really good moisturizer. But this one, I wonder if it's a little bit different because I don't remember the other one saying anti-aging as much. So this could be a different iteration of it or it always said anti-aging. It's like a Berenstein Bears moment, right? Like <laughs> which one is it? Because maybe maybe that I've always had this one and I just never noticed the label. I don't know. But uh, I feel like it could be different, but mm, mm, I don't know. Is it the same thing? <laughs> Now I'm second guessing myself. But anyway, I've always enjoyed that moisturizer. It's been fine. Then you have two products from Clinique. You have the Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. Sounds a little sexy. And then you have the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And then the Moisturizing Lotion Plus. Um, yeah, I think when it comes to Clinique, I don't know, like they don't really wow me or excite me. For every cool product that I find from Clinique, there's always at least a dozen products that I'm like, I don't really give a shit about. And these are kind of those products for me. Like, yeah, they're <laughs> I don't think there's anything special about their moisturizing lotion and plus if you ever order from like Bloomingdale's or Macy's or something like that I feel like they throw samples of this goddamn moisturizer in my orders constantly. Why would I even need to buy a bottle when I'm constantly getting free samples of it so no. Then we have something from New Face which kind of looks like a vibrator. Uh, this is the mini, <laughs> mini facial toning microcurrent kit. What is this? Hold on. It's $245. So it'll be 50% off. FDA cleared mini and facial toning microcurrent kit. Do you shock yourself with it? <laughs> Wait, hold on. How do you use this? Apply a few drops of the booster serum onto fingertips, massage into clean skin, activate and lift the brush mask like layer of your favorite activator and sections as you lift. Finish with the eye cream and don't forget SPF. If you're under the care of a healthcare provider, consult your healthcare provider before using the mini plus device. Do not use over swollen, infected, inflamed areas or skin eruptions. This device may not be safe for use in the neck in individuals with a known history of artery disease, stroke, or transient is chemic attack TIA transient is chemical attack I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly cartosinosis unable unstable blood pressure easy fainting thyroid disease or prior surgical procedures in the neck area I think I'm gonna pass <laughs> that at least they're putting all these warnings out there now, right? Because God forbid you actually get the product and then you start literally jerking your neck off and the next thing you know, you're having the worst pains or God only knows what happens to you. Um, so A plus for giving me a heads up, but I think I'm gonna have to politely to go. <laughs> it's scary. What is, what is, I'm scared of this. We're gonna keep on, keep it on. That is scary. But to bring it back to a much happier note, we have something that I'm so excited about because y'all benefit. I know, Benefit, good old Miss Benefit. She normally is a sleepy little bitch and nobody gives shit about her, right? Cause she's always just hawking the same hula shade over and over again. But when I tell you the wonderful world silky soft powder blushes are everything and then some, <gasps> They're everything and then some. I have not tried one shitty shade. All of them have been fantastic. And I think I'm gonna use this sale to buy the ones that I don't have, which I pretty much have them all, but there are a couple that I don't have. I'm gonna go pick them up for 50% off because that sounds like a good time for me. <laughs> But if you've ever wanted to try these, they are fantastic. They are pigmented, but they blend beautifully. They come in really cute packaging. The colors are fantastic. That is the best benefit product since Cookie. Yeah, I said it. Cookie highlighter, 
than these little wonderful blushes. They are fabulous. So yeah, I plan on picking up some of those. And then the last thing we have is like a beauty blender bubble. I don't give a shit about it. Honestly, beauty blenders are so overrated considering you have something like Shop Miss A that exists. The Paw Paw sponge where you get six of them for $8.55. Need I say more? And their sponges last you a while too. So don't bother with the beauty blender. Moving on to March 19th. We have the uh, ABH Brow Wiz Ultra Slim Retractable Detail Pencil with Spoolie. That one's a pretty good product, but I think the reason why I stopped really um, fucking with ABH is because for their kind of taupe-ish shade, it always seemed a little bit like warm leaning-ish on me. So it kind of made my eyebrows look a little bit more red. That's kind of like the biggest reason why. But since I'm going to be dyeing my hair soon, I might actually be going back to them because I might have to find a brow pencil that is going to be a little bit more in tune with that. So all right. We have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. Can I tell you, I don't think I've ever tried this foundation. I've tried the other foundation that exists, not the Double Wear. There's another one. I can't remember the name of it. It was fine. I liked it, but like it wasn't anything that was like super amazing that made me want to buy it. I've been meaning to buy Double Wear forever. Maybe today's the day. Maybe March, what day is this? 19th? Maybe March 19th is the day. I hear really good things. I've also heard things that are like, eh, it's okay. Either way, I want it. I do want to try it. I'm going to pick it up. Then we have from Kiehl's the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I see this product on, on these lists all the time. I do like Kiehl's. I love their face wash. But when it comes to like their serums and masks and stuff like that, it's, it's fine. I think to me, their best product is their face wash. Um, then we have three brushes from It Cosmetics and these brushes are designed for Ulta. You have a powdered bronzer brush, a shadow brush, as well as a soft focus blush brush. And, you know, they look fine. They look fine, but something that I just wouldn't pick up. It's just not for me, but at the same time, we also have app only beauty steals. So it's really good if you do get that Ulta app. We have something from Fresh. We have the Sugar Recovery Lip Mask. I love Fresh. I think they're fantastic. I don't think I've ever tried that lip mask. I have tried their lip balms and stuff in the past and their tinted lip balms and sugar scrubs. I've enjoyed it, but I think I might pick up that lip mask. Sounds pretty good. Then you have something from Kate Somerville. You have the Eradicate <laughs> Daily Foaming Cleanser. Okay, it's online only. All right. Then we have some stuff from Paracone MD, which apparently smell, no, I think it's the cold plasma one that smelled like fish vagina or something like that. Um, but then we, <laughs> we have the high potency growth factor firming and lifting serum, a photo brightening moisturizer, and then a high potency classic hyaluronic intensive moisturizer. It's a lot of words. It's a lot of words. And I think ever since I heard fish vagina, um, I can't get that out of my brain. And I hear that Paracone MD is just expensive for no reason. So proceed with caution. Then we have the Urban Skin in RX, which sounds familiar, but I can't say why. Uh, you have a Pro Strength Hydro Balance Brightening Moisture Infusion. What the fuck is that? Hold on, let's see, what is that? That sounds a little bit more interesting. While that loads, we also have another thing from the Shit Tea brand, Teamy Blends, a Hibiscus Infused Vitamin C Serum. So you can have more shit stuff on your face. Then you have some OPI Press On Nails, which if you like them, you like them. Then we have <sighs> Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Light Capture. Um, Y'all know how I feel about Laura Mercier. It's a big old no for me. <laughs> I will say, I think this is the first time I've actually seen Laura Mercier on these lists. So, mm. but I think, is this the one that was kind of like a highlighter? Yes, this is the one that was like a highlighter and it, it was it was just straight up sparkle powder. It was like twilight in powder form. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Plus it's Laura Mercier, <sighs> who gives a shit? Okay, so going back to the Pro Strength Hydro Balance. What, what is this? What is this? Urban Skin RX Pro Strength Hydro Balance Brightening Moisture Infusion is a lightweight moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, oligopeptide, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, brightening complex that provides skin with intense hydration and a youthful glow. Ultra sheer formula, fast absorbing, okay, powder, uh, squalene, uh, okay, I mean, it sounds like it's for dry skin. I want to read a little bit more about it, but yeah, I mean, listen, I have dry skin. Maybe I should try it. What are the reviews? Best product to date. This cream is good, but the container is too big. I like the cream for the most part. I do, what the fuck did they say? <laughs> I do feel like it has sort of a sticky after setting, but once it's absorbed in the skin, it's fine and my face feels hydrated and soft. However, the stickiness did take some getting used to. I guess they don't like getting facials. 
Uh, <laughs> that was disgusting, I'm sorry. I really hate that the package change. I mean, I like the part where you press in it to get the cream. However, the cream is not directly in the pump area. You won't get much and you'll think you're out of the cream until you open it. So you kind of have to bang it around a bit to get the cream to settle back in the middle. Also, the container is way too big. This could have made the same packaging but smaller. Really not impressed with the new packaging. I prefer the regular size one over this oversized container. This is mainly why it's three stars. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued, um, but I'm mindful about the uh, the weird fucking packaging. But okay, all right. I think I might take a bullet and try it. Then we have, uh, then the last two things is from Dermaflash. We have a mini precision, oh, peach fuzz removal device. Those are terrifying. Listen, if you don't want to wax your shit, just get a fucking razor, like a beard trimming thing, and just do that. You don't need something like a peach fuzz removal device, which sounds like it's going to cut your fucking face open. Don't do that. $70? No, you could literally go to Target and get a fucking $20, $20 electric shaver or just get it waxed off, whatever. Then you have the mini edges or refill cartridges. So yeah, it, listen, that's so much money for something that's gonna cut your face open. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, moving on to March 20th. Oh God, okay. So the first thing you have is the Stila Heaven 2 highlighter. Hello, my name is Teresa. I'm here to tell you that that highlighter is actually pretty fucking good. It is weird, it's wet, it's glittery, but it's really cool in a weird fucking way. So I accidentally bought this when I was looking for that Silver Lake one and I thought this was it. And it wasn't. This highlighter in the shade Opulence, it is very slutty. It's super slutty. And it's not like super shockingly uh, white, right? It's a frosty highlighter, but it's not the frostiest highlighter that ever existed. It definitely has more of like a wet kind of a feel to it. Very alien slut. That one's worth getting. I know I talk a lot of shit about Stila, but it's a product that I think is worth checking out, especially the opulent shade. I kind of want to try the kitten shade just because like, I can get it for 50% off uh, just to see if I'm going to have that same kind of effect. This kitten is like their standard shade. I feel like that they come out, every product has like a kitten shade attached to it. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna look on me. But Opulence, if you're uncooked chicken, you're not gonna be disappointed. It's it's very slutty. It's a slutty highlighter. Watch out, okay? The aliens will be coming for you. But I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> So yes, I say yes to the fucking Stila. I know, who am I? Then you have some stuff from Smashbox. You have their photo finish primers. I'm gonna skip past that, cause that's a no, no. You don't need that. You don't need to spend $21 on it, especially when you get them for free constantly. <laughs> No. Then we have the Coserex Master Patch Set. What's that? I love anything from Coserex. I've never tried that product out. Ooh, okay. This is designed for day and night blemish coverage. I'm gonna buy those because usually around my period, I'll have zits here and there. I wanna try that, see if that actually works. Then you have uh, something from Kapari. You have the Sunshield Body Glow Gel. You know what? I feel bad because I know Kapari, I believe Kapari follows me. Kapari has sent me stuff to my PO box. Um, <laughs> It's just not for me. Also, they have a lot of coconut in their products and I always feel like I have like a weird kind of a breakout. I think I was using their deodorant or something once and my armpit broke out so badly. Oh, it was painful, bitch. After that, I was like, no, I, I, I can't fuck with Kapari. So um, I'm sorry, Kapari. I think you're adorable, but you just don't work for me. And then the last but not least, we have something for nude sticks, which I actually didn't even know they had a fucking, what is this? Five colors. Wait, what is this? Nude screen mineral veil. Is this a colored sunscreen? What is it? SPF 30 is a light hydrating oil-free lotion rich in vegan powder extracts that melt into the skin to help protect against sun broad spectrum UVA and UVB rays. blah 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 blah. Apply 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply every two hours. Okay so it's just it's an SPF. Okay yeah, I'll pass. I don't care. It just it confused me because it was like five colors so it must be like a tinted sunscreen. Aha uh -huh. There's a tint free. Oh, okay, I see, I see. There's a tint free, and then you have a couple that have a tint. That's kind of cool. Okay, I mean, I just, I really like my super goop. The Daily Dose line has just been fantastic for me because again, I have very dry skin, right? So I need something that is going to be hydrating the shit out of me, and that's the one product that always works. But yeah, um, it, it sounds cool. Finally, I guess a Nude 6 product that I would potentially use, but I'm probably not gonna get because I like super goop too much to wanna try something else. Now we have March 21st. We have Ooh, Beekman World Milk Drop Ceramide Serum. Yes. Again, if it has ceramides, I'm going to try it. I want to try it. I don't even care what it is. What is it? <laughs> what is it? What are you? You are a uh, ceramide serum, highest concentrate, most potent treatment. Ooh. This lightweight milk 
postbiotic serum is jam-packed with kind ingredients. My camera shut off, so I don't know what I was talking about, but yes, I'm trying it. It sounds really good. The next thing, which is probably the most important thing that is gonna be coming out on this day, is the Bare Minerals. Oh wait, no, this is not what I, I thought it was gonna be. Fuck. <laughs> I, ah, oh, bitch. Okay, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, my blonders are on sale and I got so excited, but it's not that. Fuck me, man. I, <laughs> I thought this was the Bare Minerals uh, blonders because I was going to be like, that is a fantastic product and you should go pick it up. But no, it's the fucking Gen Nude Powder Blush. Listen, I'm going to pick this up just based off of my love for the blonzer product. That is a fantastic product. Definitely want to try this one out. So uh, I love the colors. I think they're, you know, basic bitch fun colors. So I plan on picking up at least one or probably two of them since they're going to be like $13. Um, so why the fuck not? Right? So yes, yes, yes. Damn it. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the Urban Decay uh, 24 hour shadow stick. They have a fucking shadow stick? <sighs> I'll pass. No, thank you. Then we. <laughs> I'm sorry, Urban Decay, but no. Uh, if I haven't even heard of that product before, there's a reason why it's on this list. Okay, then we have the Eyelighter Concentrate from Beauty Bio. This is, I've never tried anything from Beauty Bio. The Eyelighter Concentrate is a smoothing, brightening, and priming serum depuffing tool with vitamin C and plant powered retinol. Oh, okay, plant powered retinol. That's not bad, because a lot of Ola Henriksen has like that, like vegan retinol. And that is fine for my skin. It's the actual retinol retinol that scares me. All right, I want to look through the ingredients though before picking this up. And the reason why I kind of actually want to pick this up a little bit is because it reminds me of a tool that Shantakai came out with that I really, really liked. I thought it was really neat because it had that depuffing metal tip. It was like the rose cream or whatever. And I really enjoyed it because of their price point. I don't know if it's something that I want to repurchase. So I kind of want to see if maybe this might be like a dupe for that product or whatever. So I kind of want to try this. And I've never tried anything from Beauty Bio before, so why the fuck not, right? Then we have uh, something from First Aid Beauty, the KP Smoothing Body Lotion. Whatever. Eh. Then we have the Indie Lee COQ 10 Toner. Probably not saying that correctly, but I feel like this is another brand where every time there is some sort of 21 Days of Beauty, this particular product is always on sale. So, um, I mean, it looks like the reviews are pretty good on it. It could be a really great product and it just so happens that it's just one of those best sellers that is always prominent on these sale pages. But um, I don't know, let me know down below. And then we have something from Key's Soul Care, the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. I still wanna try. I'm so actually kind of mad because I've been wanting to try this line for so long and I got really excited when I, I got my Ipsy box or whatever and I was supposed to be getting some products from Keys in it and then uh, lo and behold the box never came so then I, I filed a complaint to be like hey can you send me a box and instead of sending me a box <laughs> a box that I was supposed to get, they literally just doubled up on the products because they ran out. And so I got like three of the same product. And that was ultimately the reason why I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I'm all set with Ipsy. They can literally eat my asshole. So, um, yeah, I've been wanting to try something from Soul Care and, and just the Keys line in general, both the makeup as well as the skincare. So, um, I don't know. Listen, I love glowy, illuminating shit. I really do. I'm a fan. Let's see, what exactly is this? Oh, it's a sheer golden tint that complements all skin tones while helping brighten, plump, and smooth the look of the complexion. Okay, listen, that sounds fine and good. Sounds all good to me. I think I might pick this one up and let you know how it works out for me. And then, of course, we have... We <laughs> We have things from Juice Beauty. Again, the, it's the same stem cellular stuff with the exception of the anti-wrinkle retinol overnight serum. That's something that's new because usually it's just the fucking cream. Or no, maybe it is that one. Maybe it is the serum and the cream and maybe the exfoliating peel spray. Exfoliating peel spray. <laughs> That just doesn't sound good. Whatever. Anyway, Juice Beauty is one of those brands that is always in the subscription boxes. So in the past, I remember getting a boxy charm. I think two or three boxy charms that constantly just had this moisturizer all the time. And it like, no. <laughs> It was a no. No, 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 no. But so yeah, anytime I think of Juice Beauty, I just remember vividly just being like, why am I getting this again and again and again? I don't want this. So that's why I think so poorly of the brand. 
it. And then we have Meaningful Beauty. We have the Daily Essential System. I've never even heard of this. Why is Ulta becoming Ipsy all of a sudden with these brands that I've never heard of that are so expensive? Uh, Meaningful Beauty, watch Meaningful Beauty is probably something that's been around for a very long time and I'm just being ignorant. That's probably what it is. Meaningful Beauty Daily Essential System is a streamlined system with essentials for younger looking radiant skin, reduces visible signs of aging, <sighs> whatever. It's the same shit that you hear constantly. You want plump and firm skin. You want to improve the look of your fine lines, blah, 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 blah. I, for a second, I thought it said sexual harassing anti-aging power. I was like, what? Nope, it's just serum harnesses the anti-aging power. <laughs> Meaningful beauties next generation. Melon leaf stem cell. I'm sleeping. What the? I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't care. Let's see. What are the reviews on this? Oh, it's a new product. There is no reviews. All right. Need I say more? All right. Next. <laughs> I'm just being a bitch today. No, I'll pass, I'll pass. Blah, 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 blah. Moving on to March 22nd. Ooh, we got some interesting ones up in this bitch. So the first one is from Oma Beauty. It's the Badass Icon Matte Lipstick. You had me until you said matte. I'll pass. Um, then we have the Foreo Bare Mini. Fuck Foreo. Next. Then we have Juby. <laughs> Foreo could literally eat my ass. Uh, then we have Juby's. Place. We have the lip gloss, a lip liner, a mini liquid lipstick, a reflect gloss, a glass gloss, another reflect gloss, another lip liner, another lipstick. It's lipsticks and lip glosses. <laughs> all day every day. I have tried something from Juby's Place in the lip department and you know what? It was all right. It didn't really wow the shit out of me. I think I like their eyeshadow palettes a lot more than their lip products and their complexion products I like more as well. I don't know. It wasn't anything that was just like, ooh, you need to fucking try it. You need to have it. Uh, then you have the Lip Tinted Hue Multi Stick, which I actually want to try Lip Tinted. I think it's, is it, I believe it's called Lip Tinted and not Live Tinted. Anyway, they have a Hue Multi Stick. Kind of want to try that one. I've been meaning to try this brand out for a minute. Uh, paint your eyes, lips, and cheeks with this creamy buildable formula in the Lip Tinted Hue Stick Multi Stick. It goes on like butter and has a demi matte finish made for blending. Doing a full face has never been easier. I want to try this. This sounds really good. And there's this one orangey shade that is literally calling my name. So I kind of need to try that one. Oh, it's a copper shimmer. Oh, fun. Okay. Mm, all right. Maybe not so much, but... <laughs> I'll probably pick up one or two of those. Oh, then we have another Foreo product. Serum, serum, serum. How fucking original. Then we have more, we have so much Jubius Place. Okay, there's a lot of Jubius Place. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. I, I, there's a lot, I can't, I can't, I can't. Then we have, oh, <laughs> we have Miss Jacqueline Cosmetic. Ooh, Wacky Jackie. All right, what do we got here? This is actually a pretty good product from Wacky Jackie. We have the sun, <laughs> we have the sunbathed press bronzer. This is actually good. This, I like. This is fine. I completely understand if you don't want to do it. I, I get it. Fucking, I get it. But I will say if you were ever interested and you wanted to try this because it is a pretty good fucking product, you can get it for half off. I was actually kind of surprised because a lot of the times that I've been trying uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics, it's usually like mm, lackluster. This was the one product I was like, ooh, I could get behind this. I could get behind this. So yes, yes, yes. Uh, so happy to see that one's for 50% off. And then after the 100th fucking Juvia's Place lipstick, then we have the Beauty Stack Cosmetics Universal Pro Bio Moisture Boost Cream. What exactly is this bad boy? Beauty Stats Cosmetics Universal Pro Bio Moisture Boost Cream is a unique light as air daily moisturizer pack full of probiotics to revitalize dull hydrated skin by repairing the moisture barrier function. Provides 24 hours of hydration, leaving the skin refreshed Supple. Okay, I mean, that sounds all well and good. I am a dry, dry bitch, so I need um, 24 hours or more of hydration. <laughs> Light as air, cream hybrid texture drenches skin without a heavy or greasy feel. Repair dull, rough, dehydrated skin and oily skin by bringing balance of skin protective. Mm -hmm. What I love about this is it's fragrance free. That's amazing. Even though I don't have the best sense of smell, sometimes fragrance just fucks my skin up. So this actually doesn't sound too bad. This sounds like this could be fun. And it has really good ratings. So very hydrating. Ooh, someone said it burned their skin. <gasps> I don't know now. Holy shit. Wait, what happened? Okay, I've been using this for now for weeks. It was great at first. I was using it last in my skincare routine at night. No complaints. It was lightweight and moisturizing. But for the first time today, I applied it straight to my face without any of my other products underneath. I like, didn't have time for my full routine and it almost immediately made my face hot and was burning and I started turning red. I washed it off immediately. I guess it didn't happen before because my other products created sort of a barrier between the moisturizer and my skin. It's a no for me. I won't be using it again. I'm normally in no way sensitive. I'm normally the type of person who can pretty much, who can pretty much any product on my skin, I guess pr pretty much put any product on my skin. Beware, especially if sensitive. Well, that scares me. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, and then the last product that I failed to mention because it was caught in a sea of dubious place. It's the Origins Ginseng SPF Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. Origins, eh. I will say I've never seen an energy boosting tinted moisturizer before from them. I have tried the Ginseng line before and it's fine. There wasn't anything special or, or amazing about it. It, was, it, it exists. Uh, <laughs> so to see a tinted moisturizer, meh, I don't care. <laughs> Moving on to March 23rd. Oh, we have a thing from, I don't even know, Mally's? Mally's Cosmetics B-Flat Belly Firming Cream. Never heard of Mally's, and I'm probably not saying it correctly, Cosmetics. B-Flat Belly Firming Cream. Unless it's going to completely flatten out my stomach. <laughs> and uh, drop this weight. I don't think I'll be picking this up. Is this basically surgery in a cream? What is this? B-flat belly firming cream. What the fuck does that even mean? Smooth away the look of stretch marks and tighten that tummy. Oh, of course. This clinically proven cream helps to concentrate the appearance of smoother, tighter, and firmer looking belly while fading the appearance of stretch marks. See results from the second bottle. Okay. Does this actually work though? That's the question. There are almost 6,000 reviews and for the most part, it's five stars. Works great. I'm extremely stretched out skin on my stomach from pregnancy. I've tried countless things with no results until I found this product. If you follow the directions and use it twice a day, you will see results. I love the burn. What do you mean the burn? It doesn't burn your skin? Instagram ads got me again, just regular lotion. <laughs> True to words, buyer beware. This cream is advertised as too good to be true because it is. On top of that, it's made with red 33, yellow five, and yellow six synthetic dyes and fragrance. Not good to put on your largest organ, your skin, the precious barrier to the inside of your body. Embrace your body, adapt a healthy lifestyle. No cream will be a miracle or replacement for clean eating, hydration, and moving your body. Absolutely right. There is no get rich quick scheme here. They're just profiting off the insecurities of women. Okay, okay. Uh, well, we're gonna say no to that cream. Fuck them. All right, moving on to Lancome. Lancome Multi Action Lift and Firm Anti Aging Night Cream Moisturizer, as well as Eye Cream and Triple Serum. No, no, no. I don't care. Then you have the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Refiner Primer. I feel like this has always been on the list time and time again. I liked maybe one or two Dr. Brandt products in the past. Then I realized it was incredibly harsh for my skin because it was like stripping everything that I loved about my skin away. So no more Dr. Brandt for me. Then we have Lime Crime. They're still a thing. Then we... <laughs> Uh, we have their matte velveteen lipstick. No, I'm, I'm all set. Then we have the Urban Decay Cosmetics 24 seven glide on lip pencils. Interesting. I honestly thought that this was going to be, oh yeah, it's a lip pencil. When I first saw it, I thought it was gonna be the eyeliners. I've never tried their lip pencils before, but I feel like even at 12.50, it feels like it's too much money. And then we have the last one, another Lancome Ultra Face Cream. I think when it comes to Lancome skincare, it just never really interests me. It just seems incredibly motherfucking boring. So moving on to March 24th. We have Clinique Perfume. No. We have Too Faced Better Than Sex Lengthening Mascara. And then we have the Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara. Again, just go buy drugstore mascara because even at 50% off the Too Faced price, you can still get a drugstore for cheaper. Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss Shimmer. That sounds disgusting. No. Uh, <laughs> Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Okay. Not for me, but okay. Like that doesn't sound terrible, but just no. Smashbox. Oh, they have something other than primer. That's great. It's the always sharp love <laughs> waterproof coal eyeliner. Nah, man, no. Nah. And then we have my favorite thing, the crepey, was it creepy? Creepy? Crepey paper? I don't know, crepe paper? I want to call it crepe, crepe, creepy paper. <laughs> We have cr crepey, crepe, creperies. When I say crepe, I just think of like just deliciousness and that's what I expect. Like I'm gonna open a jar and then a crepe's gonna pop out. But I think it's creepy, creepy skin, creepy eraser. Crepe, crepe, I, I can't, I can't stop saying that. Ultra smoothing neck repair. Nah, that's another thing that's always on here too. Like, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Last but not least, there is a Peter Thomas Roth item that we don't know what it is, but it's a surprise steal. It's probably that stupid fucking eye thing or whatever. Which by the way, do you remember that thing that was on TikTok? Or was it like a year and a half ago? And it was like that woman's face. She had like a deep bag underneath her eye and then like her skin was like whoop and it like sucked back into her face. It was like magic. Uh, <laughs> 
I tried that product because I was like, oh my God, I need to try it. That shit burnt my face so badly. I was like, I am never, nope, nope. You had me once, TikTok. Not again. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Um, Moving on to March 25th. We have only a couple of things. We have a surprise seal from Buxom. It's probably gonna be a lip gloss or a lipstick or, or some lip fucking product. Then we have the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream Illumination. You know, that wasn't my favorite It Cosmetics CC Cream product. And I will say, I, I feel like I used to really love It Cosmetics like face products and it just kind of, I don't know. I'm like popping the brakes on them. They're, it's just not as good as it used to be. I am a huge fan of Pure Lease. Pure Lease is cheaper than It Cosmetics and I feel like they just do a much better job of just really just making your skin feel really, really great and evening it out and stuff like that. So if you've never tried Pure Lease, I, I highly recommend it. They're fantastic. But yeah, the, this It Cosmetics one, I feel like this is one of the worst iterations of the CC cream. It's just a no for me. Then you have the It brushes for Ulta, all their airbrush foundation brushes which some of them look pretty cool. They have definitely a different shape. So those could be of interest. Then you have the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil. I don't think I've ever tried the Goof Proof one. I think I've tried every other Benefit one, but again, much like ABH, the reason why I stopped really using the Benefit one is because the shades always looked really warm and red on me for some weird reason. But again, since I'm gonna be dyeing my hair, you know, maybe it won't be so bad. And then we have the last thing is from Exuviance, which is a first time steal. This is their Triple Microdermabrasion Face Polish. And I feel like first time steal. I'm kind of confused. I feel like I have seen this product before. Maybe not necessarily this product, but something from this brand though that has been on this old Ulta list in the past. Like it sounds familiar, but whatever. Microdermabrasion, who cares? Moving on to March 26th. All right, so first thing we have is from MAC. We have the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I have never tried this foundation before and I have to say that Okay, so I need to do an update video about some of the foundations that I have tried because I have tried quite a few since the start of the year. And I have to say the last video of me trying on foundation, I think it was the Makeup Forever and I was kind of like, on the fence about it. I took the time and watched a video that someone recommended to me uh, from Robert Welsh about how to apply powder foundation. And the only reason why I was applying it the way that I did is because everybody on TikTok was doing it like that. They were like, look at the coverage, dragging it down their face and it just was not a good look. And granted, I'm not a makeup artist, so I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> flying by the seat of my pants. Anyway, so I watched him demonstrate, I believe on a drugstore powder. And I was like, oh, I get, I get it now. Like I get it now. And when I applied it using his method, I was like, what the fuck? I lost my mind because I was like, oh shit, it actually looks really fucking good. And it doesn't look cakey and powdery and a, a garbage nightmare. Anyway, I'm gonna have an update video soon, but I kind of want to try it again on camera just to show you because it's one thing for me saying it, another thing for me doing it, right? So I want to show you like how how it looks, but it looks fucking fantastic. Anyway, it opened my eyes now to powder foundation. I always looked at it as like, no, it's not for me because I have dry skin, but now I kind of want to try the Studio Fix one. I've never tried that MAC product, so I kind of want to try it. I know, I know, I don't know. So I think I might actually pick it up because it'll be 50% off, and if it sucks, at least it's 50% off. The next one is the Fix Plus from MAC, which is a, a fantastic product. I just haven't had it in a long time, in a long, long time, actually, but I've always enjoyed it. Then you have this uh, product from Tula, the, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I feel like my best friend Michael tried that product, and he said it wasn't anything amazing. All right, so. <laughs> Take his word for it, okay? His skin looks good. Then we have Persona, the super blush. Have I ever tried anything from Persona? I don't remember. I can't remember. But there are four colors. They look like they're fun and they're, oh my God, that's so funny. I literally was gonna say like, they're like bubblegum colors and the color is a bubblegum pink. That's really cute actually. I kinda need to get it just based off of that. Like, what are the odds, right? Uh, <laughs> how stupid. Anyway, these look kinda fun. I'd probably pick up one of those or maybe one or two. And then we have the Tarte uh, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumping Gloss, which um, I don't think I have tried, but the lip plumping thing, uh, it just sounds like it's gonna be the Too Faced shit and that's a no for me, dog. So no, 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 no. Moving on to March 27th, we have the Pure 4-in-1 Press Mineral Powder Foundation. 
Remember when pure was a thing? Whatever happened to them? Exactly. Bare minerals all over face color, loose bronzer. No, I don't know why I don't want a loose bronzer. It sounds like it's gonna be messy. I don't like that. Then you, oh, is this it? The Firm X peeling gel? Is this the fucking thing that burnt my face off? No, I think it's some, it's definitely from this line. I don't know if this is the particular product though. Was it this one? Hold on. No, it was a temporary eye tightener. Okay, so it was the same line. Line, but yeah, absolutely not. Anything from the Firm X line? Absolutely not. Go fuck yourself. You have the Menti Cosmetics Lip Liner. Okay. Mm. Then you have the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I have tried this. It was fine. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Like it was good, but like I feel like I have tried better toners. Then you have the Mented Cosmetics Semi Matte Lipstick, okay. Then we have the KBD um, uh, Waterproof Gel Eyeliners. Never tried the gel eyeliners from KBD and um, I don't think I'm gonna start today. <laughs> I don't know. I think when it comes to eyeliners, I'm very particular because I have sensitive eyes and oftentimes a lot of things just don't work for me. So the ones that I do have like a good a good relationship with, like, you know, we talk on the phone. Uh, those are the ones that I like. Lethal Cosmetics, Melt Cosmetics, some ColourPop stuff, Kaleidos. Um, so yeah, uh, the KBD ones just don't interest me. And then we have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion and Sunscreen. I have tried this in the past and I have liked it, but I cannot stop using Supergroup. I think that was the one thing that like I keep kind of coming back to um but the Shiseido one is pretty good so yeah that's pretty much what's going on for March 27th so moving on to March 28th we have Grande Cosmetics. This, I feel like Grande Cosmetics doesn't work. Uh, this is the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. I, something I feel like is always on this list. Um, if it's not their brow serum, it's their lash serum. And uh, the lash serum I know doesn't work uh, at all. So uh, I don't have any hope for the brow one. Then we have Sunday Riley, which I don't like because it breaks me out so I could care less. But they have an ice ceramide moisturizing cream, which sounds good because of the ceramides in it. But every Sunday Riley product I've ever tried has broken me out so hard. So I'm, even though Ceramide is like my siren song, I'm gonna pass. Then we have L'Occitan Almond Shower Oil, which sounds kind of fun, actually. Kind of is giving me like a rainbow, oh no, I'm thinking of like almond paste, Never mind. <laughs> thinking of like rainbow cookies. I'm like, ooh, I want to smell like a rainbow cookie. Completely different thing, Teresa. Ooh, now we have the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus Plus, the essence, which smells like what? Whale fish vagina. No. Then we have the Philosophy Hope in a Jar Biome Balance Growth Serum. I feel like Philosophy is a weird company that either does shower gel or skincare. And ever since then, it kind of never made me want to try anything because it's like shower gel or skincare. And I don't know why that weirds me out, but it does. Uh... <laughs> Fuck, I literally, I don't care. Bosha, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a resurfacing treatment toner. I have tried stuff from Bosha in the past and it's another brand that it was just like, okay, it was like a charcoal mask or whatever. It was fine, but it wasn't like shit your pants amazing. So I never really went out of my way to try anything else from the brand. Then we have a product from Claire's, which is something that I'm more familiar with through Yes Style. Cause I have tried things from this brand and I, I have thoroughly enjoyed them. Uh, this one is a freshly juiced vitamin C drop, which improves skin tone with brightening ingredients derived from plant extracts. Has vitamin C, hypoallergenic, has yuzu, has centronella. Ooh. Oh, cent not centronella. <laughs> I'm like citronella. <laughs> it keeps mosquitoes away. No, no, no. Centella. <laughs> plant extract with powerful soothing properties that calms irritations and break out. I like things that have centella in it. Uh, yeah, so honestly, this is something that would interest me. I'd probably pick something like this up. I could fuck with that. Then we have uh, another thing from Origins, the Plant Scription Multi-Powered Anti-Aging Peptide Serum. Again, Origins, I feel like I used to really like Origins and then I don't know, I kind of discovered other things that are better and I just never really looked back. And then we have the Jane Erdell, Erdell. I don't know why it sounds so bad when I say it like that, Jane Erdell. Dale, uh, pure press blush. <laughs> I don't know why I got all NASCAR there, but uh, yeah, I'm all set. All right, so. <laughs> You know, in hindsight, thinking about it, I think there are some gems here, but there's also muddled in some bullshit. Moving on to March 29th. We have Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeshadow Singles. Even at half off of $21, I feel like that's still really expensive. No. Then we have the PMD Dildo thing, the Clean Pro R&Q Smart Facial Cleansing Device, which I feel like I kind of do have one of these from the subscription boxes, and I don't think I've ever used it. I need to find out where it is, but I'm pretty sure it's from PMD. Dermalogica, the Daily 
Daily Glycolic Cleanser. Never tried anything from Dermalogica before, and I still want to try something from Dermalogica. I've heard mixed things, but I kind of want to try it. Um, then we have the Derma Blend. Oh, Derma Blend Flawless Creator Liquid Foundation Drops. Now I have not tried this Derma Blend foundation product. Their other foundation, their full full coverage one, that shit's full coverage, like no joke, full coverage, and it's comfortable and it's amazing and it's wonderful. So I recommend checking out the other foundation, which I can't remember the fucking name of it, and I'm so sorry, but if I remember, I'll pop a picture right here. Um, but this Derma Blend product, it's like, mm, I don't know. Why get something like this when the other one exists? You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Then we have Clinique, the Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Hydrated Broad Spectrum Tinted Moisturizer. Now I'll pass. Exubian's Performance Peel at Home Facial Peel. Maybe this is a product that was there last year. There was also a Pure Retinol Correcting Facial Peel as well. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm nah, not into it. Then you have another PMD Personal Microderm Classic Microderm Abrasion Tool that just looks like a giant dildo that's always on sale during these sales and yeah, just not for me. So this is kind of a lackluster day. Moving on to March 30th. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Benefit, um, the same fucking professional time and time again. Again, this professional product, the Smashbox Primers, Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk, NARS Orgasm are in a makeup time, actually they don't even need to be in a makeup time capsule because they are still coming out with the same products over and over again. These are the things that are gonna outlive us all. You think about that, you're gonna be in the ground. <laughs> And you know what's gonna be at your local, probably gonna be like a high-tech futuristic makeup store. Makeup store, it's probably, everything's probably gonna be online. It's gonna be like Wally. That's what we're gonna turn into, like Wally. Either way, those products are gonna outlive you, okay? So <laughs> you're gonna be dead and gone, but just know that some things will never change and that will be benefits professional. And again, see philosophy. Oh, this is the facial cleanser. Uh, for a second, I was like, see, this is the fucking shower gel I was talking about. No, this is the period. <laughs> Made simple one step facial cleanser. It never really interests me. Then you have the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purify Bronzing Water Face Mist. No, no. I don't think I'm ever gonna get into self tanner. I, I admire those that do it. They look fantastic. But I just think on me it would look, so, maybe I should do it just for fun. Maybe I should get me and Alex to do it. Press three if you want to see a self tan. Tan. <gasps> Press the if you want to see a self tan. Okay. Then you have Glam Glow. Do you remember Glam Glow? I know. Glam Glow is the bright eyes illuminating anti fatigue eye cream. No, 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 no. I, I, listen, I can't take Glam Glow seriously from their weird masks that had fucking stars and shit on it, right? And then, then they <laughs> encourage you to wash it off into the sink <laughs> so that these products would never break down and just like live in the earth forever. No. Um, then we have Nabla, which, listen, I, I wish I loved Nabla like some other people. So Nabla's eyeshadow palettes just are not it for me. Their mascara, which a lovely subscriber sent, <gasps> it's fucking everything. It's so good. It's so fucking good. That vicious mascara is everything that I hoped it to be. Love that. Sad that that mascara is not on this list, but these fucking things though, ugh, no thank you, ma'am. I'm not into it. No to the Nabla, all of it. And there's a lot too. There's a glitter palette. There's eyeshadow palettes. Absolutely fucking no. No to Nabla. But hey, if you like them, they're half off. We're in the home stretch, y'all. March 31st. March 31st, you have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base Primer and Moisturizer. I like this. I think I'd actually pick this up because I always got little jars of it, never the full size. So I'd be happy to get the full size. This is a really beautiful primer and moisturizer. Bobbi Brown did something right with that. So good job, Bobbi Brown. Thank you. Then we have the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. Okay. Knock on this table. I don't want an ingrown hair. I don't think I've ever had an ingrown hair. Either way, I don't want one. So, <laughs> but it's good to know that there's pads. That's kind of weird. I don't, how the fuck does that work actually? Hold on. Prevent angry razor burn. Oh, how do you use this? Swipe the pad over clean, dry skin daily. Begin using day after shaving or waxing. Can be used under arms, bikini area, face, neck, legs, and anywhere else you remove hair. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hey, if, if you have those issues, there's pads for you. Uh, then there's something from Morphe. No. And then we have Tula. <laughs> We have the 24 seven moisture hydrating day and night cream. Uh, my best friend tried this. I remember him saying that, you know what? It wasn't super amazing. It was just okay. Just okay. <laughs> 
So we're gonna pass on that one. Also on March 31st, they had app only steel deals. So you have actually a couple of brands that I've never heard of before. Petite and Pretty. There's a Featherlight Clear Mascara and Brow Gel. What, why would you want clear mascara? Clear mascara, okay. And then there's a washable mascara. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand what do you mean washable mascara? That's weird, right? Why the fuck does it? Okay, and then there's a volumizing. Wait, what makes it washable? Why is it called washable mascara? Why feather stretch? What are you? Tell me. Time to flex those feathers and go long. This unique film? Film forming mascara stretches each lash to its fullest potential with a feather light formula that extends lashes to new heights. You'll have a wingspan so long you might just fly away. Listen, if there was something to try for science, this is the product to do that. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, I guess we're trying that one. That sounds really weird and stupid and watch it be horrible. Can't wait. Then we have a Volition Turmeric Brightening Polish. Actually, the name now kind of sounds a little bit familiar. Then we have a Getaway Glow Gradual Tan Firming Body Moisturizer. Maybe we might do it if y'all have pressed three to watch us do some self tanning. <laughs> Oh fuck. Then we have Estee Lauder Pure Color Illuminating Shine Lipstick, whatever. Bosha Green Tea Oil Free Moisturizer, meh. Hey Honey, which Hey Honey is pretty good. You have the Hey Honey Relax Soothing Cream. I have tried some stuff from Hey Honey before and I liked it, I've enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. Then you have Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Liquid Peel. Another Kinship product, which is a self smooth 10% glycolic resurfacing serum. And then you have Moon Juice. I wanna try Moon Juice just because of the name. This is a plump jelly hyaluronic serum and I will pick this up because it just sounds cool. <laughs> It combines a low molecular weight of hyaluronic acid, PGA peptides, and silver ear mushroom to help hydrate in and around the cells for elasticity and bounce. That just sounds weird and fun. And listen, it's called Moon Juice Plumping Jelly. I am plumping jelly. <laughs> I need to try it, obviously. Now moving on to April 1st. Oh my God, I am so tired of talking. Finally, we are in the home stretch. And we only have a couple of products. No, we only have a couple of products. Okay, I was like, oh God, how many? So first we have Tarte. Shape tape. So we have the Shape Tape Coverage Concealer. I'm sorry, Full Coverage Concealer. And then we have the Ultra Creamy Concealer. I'm still trying them out. Um, and I say this the Ultra Creamy one because that's the one that I have in my possession. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. It like, sometimes I like and sometimes I don't. I definitely don't like the original Shape Tape uh, because it just was too too drying for me. This one though, I don't know. I, I, I'm still trying to give it a chance. But at the same time, it's not like winning any awards with me. Then we have one of my favorite mascaras ever. The Lancome Lash Idol Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara. The waterproof one or the regular one, they were both fine. Fucking, I love those. And the fact that you can get for $15. Well, I know I have said time and time again, get the L'Oreal or get the new Maybelline one, which I still firmly believe, yes, you should. Um, if you wanted to get a little bit more of a luxurious mascara, right? Not quite really high end, but mid tier level. Uh, $15 is actually not that bad for a $30 mascara. So hmm. then we have a Kylie Cosmetics palette. Actually kind of surprising that not a lot of eyeshadow palettes, I mean other than Nabla releasing 55 eyeshadow palettes in that one day, kind of surprised that there really hasn't been a lot of eyeshadow palettes being released. Kind of interesting actually. Uh, but anyway, so you have like this basic bitch press palette. Who cares? Nobody gives a fuck. Then you have the Velvet Lip Kit. Okay. You have something from Stravictin, the Peptide Tightening Neck, Tightening Neck Serum Roller. No. Bunch of shit from Clinique. Acne solutions, facial soap, all kinds of facial soap. <laughs> like, I don't know. No, 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 no. And then we have something that I'll probably pick up for Alex. We have the Clinique for Men face wash as well as the face wash for oily skin, which I'll probably pick him up the oily skin one because my boy is oily. Uh, but yeah, okay. So that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised that there are quite a few products that I want to try and quite a few products that I'm pleasantly surprised that are on sale considering that they're kind of new and they're fantastic. Especially the Benefit Blush, for example, like that is fantastic. And the Stila Highlighter, like that one's really good. And you have some brow products. I don't know, like it actually surprised me that it wasn't complete hot dog shit. When I first saw it, I was like, oh no, 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 this is not for me. But then when I looked at it online closer and I could actually like see what the products were, I was like, oh, okay, you know what? There are some hidden gems in a lot of this shit. Uh, granted though, there are still a lot of products that have been on sale, included in these lists 
this time and time again. So you kind of have to like weed your way through it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that there are some things that are worth checking out during this sale. And with that said, the most important thing that I can say to you, which I should have probably said in the beginning of the video, is uh, to shop responsibly. So yes, there are a lot of things that are on sale. Doesn't necessarily mean you need to buy them all. So buy the things that tickle your makeup pickle and uh, make sure you do it responsibly. Uh, and with that said, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below what products you are interested in checking out or if you're going to be skipping the sale completely. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button and three and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting. Garbage about a float. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. I'll see you little cupcakes later. Bye.